excited to do this video today because it's gonna be a lot of really great Christmas practical do-it-yourself ornaments, decorations for your house, things that are gonna be super cheap to recreate, things that are gonna be extremely easy to do, and it was like super accessible to find these things. So, some of the things we're gonna be doing in this video is A, show you guys what I got, the materials I needed, and a little bit of a haul from the dollar store, which I got most of my things from. B, I'm gonna be showing you some arts and crafts projects that you're gonna be able to do for really cheap, recycle some of the ornaments you have from last year, and put them to good use. And um, lastly, I'll show you guys me putting them up on the tree. And I have a really big tree, as you guys heard in my last video. I'm having a really hard time finding accessories um, that are gonna be affordable to get this tree full of all the little stuff that I want it to be full with. So stay tuned, you're gonna like this, you're gonna rock it, we're gonna do it together, it's gonna be fantastic. I picked up this tinsel garland and it's just really pretty. I really like this color because it, they have a wide variety of these little garland things. So we're gonna start by making a paper cone. I'll put the link below. Once your cone is made, start by putting a dollop of glue on the tip and place your first um, little bit of garland on there. And then be very careful because the glue will be very hot and just keep on rolling it around, making sure that you keep it nice and tight and that it sticks as you go along. If you do like I did, that I did a taller one and a smaller one, you'll probably need two garlands for the tall one. And then for the smaller one, I use pretty much one whole one. I went with a paper bag, so that's why I'm making sure they're very secure on the bottom. If you use like a cardboard, um, this might not be necessary. Just gauge it as you go. And voila, here are our little glistening Christmas trees. Aren't they beautiful? Finally, one of the projects that we are going to be doing is recycling ornaments from the past years. So, this ornament happens to be from my Christmas tree from last year. My Christmas tree last year was teal and silver, I think. Something like that, or like crystal and teal. Anyway, I had these really big and pretty ornaments that were in perfect condition. Um, but obviously teal didn't match with what I wanted to do this year, so I spray painted them gold. Love spray paint. However, I must admit a disclaimer, spray painting ornaments is kind of a gamble because as you can see on this one, some of them will come out nice and smooth and clean and pretty, but others won't. So I'm gonna start by using styrofoam faux balls and these are very small, that's why I went with these. I think they're probably the smallest you can get. And just make sure you get a bowl that won't overflow. Mine did and you'll see the mess I ended up with. But I went ahead and started with a little bowl of the balls. Um, here are my spray painted ornaments. As you can tell, this one has a pretty crusty um, outside. And this is the inspiration that I went by. So I wanted to do these little swirlies, took off the little cap with my finger in it just so that I would have a better grip and just started making swirlies. Really freehand, really easy, just kind of gauge it as you go. You can have a lot of fun with these. You can use, instead of the styrofoam faux snow, you can actually use glitter of different colors to coordinate the color of your tree. Another tip is you can get really creative with these. Um, instead of swirlies, you can do like snowflake shapes, you can do stripes, you can do stars. Um, I got a little bit creative and I did some polka dots. Um, you'll see those in a minute on the tree.
Lastly, to spruce these up just a little bit more, I took my ribbon and I made a little loop with a bow uh, just to give them a little bit more elegance. Take a look how elegant and beautiful these look on the tree. You can make them for yourself. Here's my polka dot one I told you about. And I even did a monogram. Okay, up next we're gonna do a tutu garland. And for that you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a pack of Christmas lights. I chose a 20 mini light set. Um, you can get these in white, it'll make your life easier. I only found them in green because I got them at the dollar store. Um, so I went ahead and spray painted my extension gold. And I mean, you can feel free to spray paint these whatever color coordinates with your decoration. Um, if you find a white one, probably even better yet. But I happen to have gold spray paint, so I use that. Just make sure that you remove all the little bulbs before you start so you don't paint over them. Once that dries up, you are going to put all your little bulbs back in place and you're going to take your full of tool and you're going to cut it in about four or five inch strips and just go through the whole entire roll until you can't cut anymore. Believe me, you're going to use all of them. Start tying them in knots, just a simple knot. Keep it nice and secured. I just tied it once. I don't think you need to double knot it and just push that down and then keep knotting that um, the entire length of your extension and then at the very end just make sure you fluff them nice so it becomes a really fluffy kind of tutu look like fluff them nicely and voila there's your ex whole extension I went ahead and just tied a bell that I had to the very tip of it. I did that with a piece of tool and put it on my faux mantle I created. Here's the final product of my faux mantle slash console table. I think it's very glistening and very beautiful. I really like the way it came out. This is a great little decoration you can pull together for your dorm or small apartment. It's very beautiful. Onto the tree to hang all of our ornaments. Tying boxes together with a big bow on top it makes all the difference in the world and makes it look very chic and very elegant. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys liking, sharing, and subscribing. So please do tell your friends, tell their friends, tell their mama's friends to follow and um, leave comments below. Tell me what you guys want to see next. I know the holidays are fast arriving and they'll be fast gone. So, you know, what videos do you guys want me to make for you? You know, what craft projects have you seen on Pinterest or Tumblr out there that you would want to see recreated and be told the truth on them if they're hard to recreate or not? Um, but do let me know. I love to do projects for you guys and um, answer your questions if you have any. Again, Thank you for watching. Send me your trees. Tag me on Instagram. Decory underscore RI is my Instagram. And I will repost your hard work, repost your Christmas tree, and give you kudos when you deserve them. Again, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Is it bright in my face? Like, it's good. Mm -hmm. Is it too bright? Is it too many shadows in the back? You look good. You look. Your color looks good. Everything. Joey, I always clear. look good. Boo child. Shadow drop.
I really do wish I was Southern a lot. Like, I really do. I feel comfortable. I feel like cozy and warm and yummy and delicious. And I think, I think it's good.